good morning or good afternoon folks. I'm in Finstall, Bromsgrove. I'm on a public footpath walk. I'm trying to find a wood, it's called Flora's Wood. And she was a daughter of um, a doctor from Bromsgrove uh, who unfortunately got killed in the plane crash in Lockerbie. And there's a wood he's named after her. I was talking to one of my viewers while messaging Sandra over in Australia and she asked me if I'd been to that wood and I hadn't so I had planned to do something else today but uh, I had a change of plan and decided to come and try and find this wood. I've had one go following a postcode and I didn't find it so I've got the OS maps out and it shows a public footpath this way so uh, anyway don't forget to do the usual like and subscribe thumbs up to everyone wherever you are in the world and australia to sandra and her daughter their keen uh, viewers and their grandson he likes to watch as well which is great so all i can say is follow me folks follow me come on this is where I, this is the old sester road apparently at uh, finstall just going to do a little pan round. It's quite a busy road, considering it's uh, just a, like an A road now. Anyway, I'm heading down here, folks. I'm going to get my map out to check on my route, see if I can get to the woods this way. Follow me. Seen no signs yet, folks. Just seeing a horse down here. Uh, a few signs up on the gate here and uh, and I do say it quite a lot on behalf of the horse owners uh, do not feed the horses follow me good evening good morning or good afternoon nice horse there folks just a quick uh, clip follow me one of these in my garden, save me mowing my lawn, save me a bit in petrol. <laughs> no, too busy. I have the same trouble with the date inside, but that's another story, folks. Follow me. Bit of off road in here, folks. Follow me. Yeah, hi, folks. No kissing gate, but hey, yo. I'm a soldier, I'll be all right. Yeah, it looks quite nice here. It's a bit cloudy today, but uh, it's all right. Follow me, folks, follow me. And you, follow me. Come on to a golf course, folks. These are nice, just here. So, gonna, should have put an helmet on, really. I don't want to get hit by a golf ball. Follow me. A public footpath sign, there's one on the floor there. I'm assuming that's the way. Yeah, so we're on the golf course. I don't know what it's called, but just give you a little pan round, folks. Follow me. I've just come from folks, and uh, this is uh, where I'm heading now. Yeah, hi, folks. Uh, if you go down to the woods today, you surely have a surprise. Follow me, you might see me. Follow me, that's enough of my singing. Yeah, I've come out into a field, which is quite nice. So, uh, just a little pan round. That's where I've just come from there, folks. Hi, folks. Uh, thanks for joining me on the walk. Uh, I've had a fairly busy morning. My son uh, Paul moved into a, a new house and there was a washing machine that was already there. He didn't want it, so my washing machine um, is a bit noisy. So uh, I decided to plumb it in. The only problem is I disconnected the dishwasher return pipe. <laughs> so 
I pulled the washing machine out and then I saw oh, there's the pipe there, took it all off and then I thought, hang on a minute, hey yo, there's another pipe here and uh, put it all back together. Anyway, I've had it on and uh, I've done one wash and it's all right. Uh, it's a shame for it to go into waste. I was going to buy a new one, but if you can save me a bit of money, it's all right. Anyway, lovely view over there, folks. All the way around. How about that? And it's all free. So you come on these walks. So this is Bromsgrove. So I won't be, this won't be, I'll, I'll put the links normally on the Redditch uh, past and present. But I won't be putting it on um, this uh, one. Looking down there, I can see, uh, looks like a motocross track. We're going to zoom in and have a look, folks. Follow me. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that track was still going, whether it's a practice track, but called the brewery, they call it. I have done some photography there years ago. So I just sort of get a little shot of it. So, yeah, I'm not going that way. I sort of have a closer look. Follow me. Folks, uh, I'm on a bit of change of route at the moment. This is quite nice just here. Uh, I was put in uh, my own route to get to this wood but uh, it meant crossing the middle of the golf course so I'm just heading up here whether I'm going to find the wood or not I don't know but uh, anyway we'll see Follow me, folks, follow me. Hi, folks. Well, I've been up that way. I've come to uh, sort of like a stop. So, I'm going to go back to the wheels and go down Pike's Pool Lane and see whether I can... Uh, I didn't see any signs for it, but there's a couple of farms which uh, it may be off one of those so we're going to have a look i'm not going to give up just yet folks but uh it's just nice to be out anyway uh uh yeah so i was gonna go off in the motor home it's nice beyond me oh another horse here folks uh, there busy having their um well, it must be the afternoon lunch, I suppose. So that's nice. So follow me, folks. Hi, folks. I'm back in me wheels. The Nissan Leaf, fully electric car. I'm not going to say too much about it, now, but it is a brilliant motor. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we haven't found these woods yet, so. Let's get going. Follow me, folks. Follow me. Hi, folks. Uh, I'm just going to park up here. So uh, I'll tell you all about it in a sec. Follow me. Oh. I wonder where I put my camera. Uh, yeah, hi folks. Um, well, I couldn't get to the woods because uh, I spoke to a farmer uh, nearby and he said it's private and you have to have permission. The chap, it, uh, dad, I'm not sure what his name is now, but uh, he sold up from there, so he lives somewhere else. So I, I can't uh, do any more than that. So what I've decided to do is there's another public footpath. I'm on Pike's Pool Lane, Bromsgrove. I thought I'd just finish off uh, and do a little bit of video around here. So this is a public footpath. Looks like I've got to climb over. So follow me, folks. That's a nice old tree. Looks like it's been down for some time there, folks. Just going to give you a little pan round where I am. There's a railway line there's a couple of paths i'm just going to get the os map out there's my wheels over there i'm going to get the map out and just see 
where I can go. Follow me. A few bluebells down here. I'm just going to follow this. Uh, I haven't put it on the map, but it looks like there's a path here. So I'm going to follow this and see how I get on, folks. Uh, stuff's rattling a bit. See a squirrel over there running off. It's there, folks. It's lunchtime. I've already had mine, so I'm all right. Oh, just spotted another one a bit closer, so we'll pan round. Yeah, got the bluebells in as well. That's quite nice, folks. I know if I get my camera to take a picture, you can guarantee he's going to race off. But I'll try, I knew that. Searching for nuts, I think, or something. There. cows over there. I don't know why. I always think of the ex-girlfriends when I see them. I don't, know. I don't know. They look a bit moody. Say no more, folks. Yeah. Quite nice just here. The calf down there. It's not the lambs at the moment. But apparently don't get interfering with the calves because I have heard a couple of stories about the cows will sort of have a go at you if you do. So, uh, just be careful, but they're well away from me, so, yeah, good zoom on the camera. Two paths here, folks, if you ever come, and the one I went on is only just a short one, so I'm going to head this way now, folks, follow me. Yeah, hi, folks. Thanks for joining me on the walk. I couldn't get to the woods I wanted to, but I will try and find a bit of information out and see whether I can get permission to go off. Anyone that's watching this that knows more about it. Anyway, I haven't got the runway gloves on. Well, basically, Bromsgrove is over there. Redditch is over there. Birmingham's that way. We'll still be over that way somewhere, folks. Now this area here, when I was in the children's home, when I was about 11, I was in the children's home for a couple of years. And uh, me and the lads, we were always round this area, playing in the fields, getting up to a bit of trouble. You wouldn't believe I was a cheeky git kid when I was little, but, but in saying that, while I was at the home, uh, I did keep all the kids. We never really got into any big trouble. When I left, I went back and uh, they'd shipped a lot of them out because they'd been causing trouble. But I never had any major trouble uh, when I was in the children's home. So, uh, yeah, part of me life, which uh, that's the way life goes sometimes, folks. But I've always worked hard. And uh, though I didn't do that well at school, uh, I'm happy, so apart from the dating site, they never taught you how to apply on that, but I oh, I don't mind. I've got my cameras, I can do what I like, so it's not all bad. Uh, I haven't put anything in the hot pot, so I don't know I'm going to have my dinner tonight yet, folks. Uh, follow me. Hi, folks, got a railway line just over there, and if any of you younger kids watching about my age or younger uh, never mess around with the railway lines even when I was a kid that's one thing we never done was uh, messed around over there this is electrified and uh, you know you've got to be so careful so stay away from them so it's a lovely view around here folks I'll just give you a pan round 
here. Yeah, so if anyone uh, from the Bromsgrove, well, I went to the Parkside School. I had a few good mates, you know, there years ago. You lose touch. Well, I did, I've lost touch with the um, ones from Bromsgrove. I went back to the Ridgeway uh, School and still keep in touch with some of the folks from there. So whichever school you're at, folks, hi to you. I'm just waiting for another train to come along. There's been about three. Got the camera ready and uh, I'll have to get my uh, phone out to check what's on. Next train from Bromsgrove's coming through. Anyway, follow me. <laughs> Tree bit of the dust here, folks. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice here. So, uh, good for the lungs now, up here. Uh, it's a shame it weren't a bit brighter. There's a nice old tree there, folks. I don't know if it's still alive. It looks a bit like me in the mornings, but hey -o. So, uh, yeah, very nice. in all the greenery on the trees folks and there's a big boy tree here this is probably a few hundred years old let's go and uh, have a look if it could talk it could probably tell some stories let's go over and have a chit chat what the hell am I talking about chit chat actually if you look at that there there's the eyes there I could swore blind I've chatted to her on the dating site and she never replied back. Oh, hey -o, what the hell's going on? Follow me. I don't know what to make tree it is, but all the leaves and buds have just started to come through. Follow me. Tree folks, <laughs> just reminded me, I've got to go to the dentist when I can, say no more. Put down on the sweets. Follow me. I'll just do a little pan round where I've walked from. There's a few bluebells here, not many, but uh, still all looks nice. So, uh, yeah, great. Really nice, folks. Yeah, these are nice down here, folks. Just going to uh, so I'm get a picture. Yeah, I'll do a couple. And uh, oh, my knees. Yeah, hi folks, just doing my usual. I should go on live. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done this, but uh, if you're ready, have a blow. Same time as me, make a wish, folks. Shan't say what I've wished about, folks, but. Oh. Still no messages on the date inside, but that's another story. Follow me. Yeah. Hi folks, well this time I'm sat on the bank here. It's uh, so it's a little bit cloudy, but the one sometimes when you've got the cloud, you don't get the shadows over the sun. It's not a bad time for photography. You get a good contrast. So yeah, I'm on the bank today 
waiting for the next train to come along get a little bit of video then I'm going to walk back down to my wheels it's been a lovely walk and I'm sorry Sandra over there in uh, Australia that um, I didn't manage to get to the woods but I uh, hope you enjoy the video she did say that uh, they watch all my videos when her daughter comes home from work she asks has Roy put another video on that's really nice so uh, it, she gave me some great comments uh, which uh, you know I do the videos mainly like I've said before for myself being a loner but uh, it's nice to share what I do it's Obson's choice not everyone's cup of coffee or tea but oh it's a train coming Yeah, just caught that train. Well, I didn't catch it, caught it, caught a little clip of it, but I'll wait for the next one. So, uh, shouldn't be too long. But yeah, they're over there, the transmitters at Witchbold, folks. And uh, I'm here, it's lovely. Yeah, still waiting for the train, folks. So, uh, I've come a bit closer. See if I can catch one. Well, not get on it, but get a video clip, folks. Follow me. Waiting for that and go home now. Follow me. Hi folks, I'm gonna end the video now. Don't forget to do the usual like and subscribe. Uh, big thumbs up to everybody. Sorry I couldn't make it make it to Flora's Woods, but say it's private. I hope you've enjoyed the walk. It's been a lovely sort of afternoon, peaceful. You can forget about the COVID, face masks, etc. when you're out on these walks. Don't forget they're all free. If I haven't said it, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't had the jab yet, the age group's coming down now, so offer it to more people. Have it. It's going to save lives in the end. We don't want to have, uh, uh, if you went to watch the news around the world, some countries it's really bad. We don't want that to happen here. So stay safe, everybody. Catch you on the next video. Bye for now, folks.